And now I'm gonna focus on the views Because I know I'm gonna blow up soon Then I'm gonna secure the bag And everything will be worth it Woo! <gasps> you guys, um, oh my gosh, I was just busy with my affirmation and manifestation And <gasps> give me a break, like, I, 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 how are you guys here right now? Like, um, who invited you? <laughs> Just joking guys, I'm so sorry. Um, you know, it's really important to always speak positivity to yourself because it's so easy to think negative things. So, you know, the word is very powerful. So it's always, always important to speak positive things over your life and focus on the dream. If nobody else sees the dream as long as you do, that is what's important. So just wanted to put that out there. I hope somebody can relate to that. So today is episode four of the cooking series i'm so excited i was hoping that it's going to be my husband and i but he's so busy with um work he works all the time i work all the time but this is my passion so that's why i will make time for it so today i'm going to be cooking some delicious spinach chicken i'm actually surprising my husband with some spinach chicken oh my gosh you guys i'm so excited about this dish because i wanted to get you something really thick and delicious instead of everything has been so light and because of the weather you don't have to eat a lot of junk so i'm here to help you get that delicious meal and be healthy at the same time so don't forget to comment like and subscribe bye <laughs> You're going to need some spinach and some garlic, some yogurt, of course, breast chicken or fillet. I love buying the breast and then making it into fillet pieces. Uh, curry. I'm cur currently out of normal tomatoes, so I'll make use of these. Um, some chili powder and Malayan salt and pepper, then over here, some turmeric and then some medium raja curry spice what you can also use is raja portuguese chicken um in the place of portuguese chicken i'm using chicken spice so yeah this is basically everything that will be needed for the spinach chicken dish okay so what i've done is i've chopped the chicken into nice chunky bits of pieces since i am out of onions thank god i'm married to an indian because it will always be something really foreign to me in the house <laughs> that i end up using anyway I'll show you something that i've got like from my husband fried onions like ready made fried onions this is so convenient now I'll add in my chicken pieces. So remember you can go with breast pieces or you can go with fillet. I think fillet will be this. But I've only made it with a breast. So I don't mind. This is my preference amount. I know it's a lot, but it's just so much delicious flavor, and I really, really love flavor. I usually prefer like fresh garlic. I'm out of tomatoes right now I'm going with these mini ones and I took a handful oh my word this smells delicious already cannot wait for the tomatoes to like melt
I'm putting my oven on low heat to let this nice cook in together. Spices blend and the yogurt. No water needed. <gasps> I'm starving, you guys. Middle. Okay, so my hobby's here. <laughs> Didn't expect this. Uh huh. <laughs> One to ten. Ten. Yay! And he's the type that like hardly gives me a tip. So you guys, you have to know it's really, really good. And it's like, it's so easy. And um, yeah, let I me know. You can taste spinach. Uh-huh. You can taste the spinach. It's not so hot. Also like spicy. Not yeah. So spicy. Yeah. And not salty at all. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Comment, like, and subscribe. Episode 5 is still coming. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.